Back to back days of record highs across the board on Wall Street. The Dow finished up 39 points to close at 22,158. The Nasdaq was up five to finish at 6460. And the SP 500 was up more than one point to end at 2498. Again, all record highs. Market analysis tonight. Megan Higgins is from Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts, and she is in the newsroom. Hi, Megan. Hi, Mike. So, all record highs. The market's uh, indexes weren't up all that much, but again, all record highs. What was motivating investors? today. Well, it was a relatively light reporting day across the boards. Investors had a pace of, you know, breath of fresh air, and they're riding out that rally wave. Energy stocks were among the biggest performers alongside rising oil prices today. And we also received a me measure of inflation today, but that didn't overly wow or disappoint investors. All right, we were reporting on Equifax a moment ago. Uh, with that recent breach, there has been greater consumer demand for these credit freezes. What are the implications for the financial industry? I think it's very interesting what um, consumers are looking to do with this credit freeze. First of all, it's the first line of defense to protect themselves, um, but actually there hasn't been enough government research for times in the past where we've gone through kind of a wave of people updating their, consume, um, their credit reports. So with that being said, it's more extreme than credit monitoring, and it typically prevents lenders from getting access to a potential borrower's credit report. So that could have great implications as far as Number one, not allowing the consumer to potentially sign up for an auto loan or to get a home loan. So it could definitely significantly impact them. It could also slow down business activity. All right. How did Equifax stock do today? Because it's been taking a beating. Unfortunately, they took a big hit today. They were down by 14%, and since the announcement was made last Thursday, they fell by over 23%. Wow. All right. Centene Corp, a Medicaid provider, uh, coverage provider, is buying Fidelis Care. Uh, pretty major merger in this space. Why is this one significant? It is. It's a huge deal. It's a $3.75 billion deal, and it will help boost the space and add nearly 14 million members to Centene's already thriving Medicaid and Medicare markets. Um, they see tremendous potential with the deal because both companies are simply aligned very similarly as far as promoting high quality and accessible health care and services. Mm, we'll see what happens with that one. Megan Higgins of Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts. Megan, thank you. Thanks, Mike.